Uh, how did you link up with the game in Black Wall Street? Um, so I had a partner from Village Town, Paru, rest in peace. His name was Black Tone. Not Tony Lane from Treetop, but there was a cat named Black Tone. He was my brother-in-law's best friend. He got killed probably 12 years ago. Um, family function. He knew I could rap. He knew I had met Dre, and Dre told, like, everybody in my family was buzzing, like, man, Dre said Glasses should be a rapper, you know, for real. Like, and he heard some of the music. He was like, man, you dope. He said, it's a dude coming up that's messing with Dr. Dre. I want to take you to meet him. And, you know, at this time, I'm just a regular gangbanger, a regular crip from 117th Street. I wasn't even tripping. I'm like, for sure, let's go meet him. So we jump in the car. And we go to West Side Piru. And um, we walk in this back house, and it's about four or five West Side Pyrus back there. And it's this nigga that's about six foot four, six foot five, probably an inch or two bigger than me. And a uh, big old blood nigga walk up, he introduced himself. Man, my name's Fo Cent. My name's Fo Ben. I'm from West Side. I'm glasses Love from 7th Street Crip. So we chopping it up, and dude had a cool flavor. He was a cool dude. You know what I mean? He was a gangster, but he was a player. We just hit it off, and we was freestyling. I'll never forget, we was freestyling, and he was kicking me super hard, Pavu Damu raps. Feel me? So I made sure I put on my, you know, I didn't care where I was at. I made sure I put on my coldest Crip raps. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, y'all not going to box me in back here and make me not feel comfortable. I'm going to feel comfortable because that's the D-boy in me as well. Right. So he just respected that, and we been sticking thieves. So he took me to meet Games over the brother, Big Face. I kicked some raps for Big Face and same thing. I already knew G-Rod from Black Wall Street at that time. He was already a super hustler. But um, me and Gang's older brother kicked it off like super hard and we was just all in and we was rocking. And he introduced me to his little brother who was game at the time and he was signed to Dr. Dre. And um, we always had a great relationship. You know what I mean? He's, a, um, he's another complex character, but we had a good relationship, you know what I'm saying? But me and Face and Four Cent, you know, that was the that was the trilogy right there. We was just with everything, you know what I mean? And I met Game and we was rocking. That's how I went. Look, hip, look, hip hop history right quick. Me yeah, and Game yeah. Mom, me and Game's mama Lynette been partners since when Game was two years old. Me and her we used to be business partners at Eve After Dark when she was doing Metal Exotic for a while. Okay? This that that's that's that's, nah, how that's, wires, to make sense. that's how the wires go. That's how the wires go. That's how she got in the exactly. the dark. Exactly. When they clown, when they clown the game about that being a dancer, I, I, me and this mama was that's partners. Why, no. That's how she got in there. And I went on tour and left her there and she blew, she blew it up to the next level. <laughs> so so let me ask you a question. Go for was it. Eve after dark in Athens? The Eve after dark was Anthony, yeah. Uh, Anthony's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, at first, it, I can't say it was always blood, but it all, wasn't always Anthony's because, um, well, my neighborhood they didn't join Anthony's to like the late 80s. They was always, okay. it was always blood affiliated, blood, uh, pyro, whatever the case may be. That whole area from from Main sure, Street, sure. Yeah. From, from Main Street all the way to uh Centennial was all, all in that little area right there from hundred thirty fifth to El Segundo. Always was always blood affiliated, yeah. but it really wasn't Anthens until yeah, yeah. the late eighties. Uh like late late to mid eighties. So okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And so uh, then one tray five, so then at that point was one tray five established before Athens? Oh uh, hell no. Well one tray five no, 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 because they, they really wasn't banging that hard. They was they was around. They was kind of wearing the Pyro name because there is a street on, on between uh between Elsa, between uh Avalon and Maine called Pyro, but they really wasn't with the other side of Pyro. Okay? And it wasn't until I think around the late the late to mid eighties when they started getting jumped on by cats in my neighborhood, they kind of clicked up and started doing their thing. I, 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 I hung with everybody, okay? <laughs> But I lived on the other side of Vanguard, sure. so but my, my daddy cut lines on one three five, okay, from one three five all the way to up Rosecrans. We cut, we cut lines on a regular basis, so I knew everybody from uh, from the, from um, one three five Anthens the whole nine yards. So I had a little pass because I had this lawnmower. I'm chasing this lawnmower with my dad, so 
Nobody mess with me. So, uh, so when I had problems with Centennial, I was able to go to Gardena and still function without having any issues. But it wasn't when it clicked up until, okay. till, till, no. until the 80s. Yeah. Okay. It, they, okay. Yeah. They, we can, still can, race on 135th. Right. To this day. Right. Right. Oh, uh, Omain or 135th? Oh man, oh okay. man, but oh okay. man, you know what I mean. The, the starting line is you cross, you cross one hundred thirty fifth, right? They've been doing that since I was a kid. I grew up on one hundred thirty second, so they've been doing that shit since I was a kid. Um, that was every it used to be the Volkswagen yeah. Club. Yeah. That was a, that was the main thing. That was a, that was the main car club, and then I, we had low riders come down and they hit their shit. They lighted the whole goddamn street. And eventually, um, the uh, street racers ran them off, and they started doing something. It's always been a hot spot for street racing. That's probably one of the longest drags in yep, the city. That's a good street. It's yeah. a great street because you can go all with them, and you damn near go to Rose. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no lights until you get to Rosecrans yet. To Rosecrans, and my yeah. boy. So you know JJ then that's locked up. I might know Let's JJ. Sure JJ. JJ. What do you what do you what do you drive? Your age. But it's funny because. Uh, JJ had a 69 Camaro by the time, but Vince's spoke had bugs and shit. I remember one of them got into a car accident over there. Right. But, some older cats. But it's funny because that street was so great, you know, until the car started. Like, my car started going real fast. You right. couldn't stop it at Rosecrans. Because the finish line is probably, where's the bus stop? That bus stop is at 132nd, huh? 131, the bus stop, the bus stop uh, on Main. When you come in, when you come into the, when you, when you on Main and you come into the island, it's an okay. island that separate the houses right. from the right. from Maine, right. and it's right. a bus stop right at the corner that's at the edge of the island. Right. That was where the finish line was at. But but eventually, time. the car, my car, got so fast you couldn't even stop at Rosecrans. You be you fuck around, be passing that bank before you look around. <laughs> what what you got, Doc? For real. A, a, a Camaro. Sixty eight Camaro. Okay. All right, I ain't, uh, Camaro. Sixty eight Camaro. Yeah, yeah. Camaro. All right, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. What what you turn in in, in the uh, in the, in the uh, quarter? That's top secret, man. That's that's <laughs> where I got to be. It's fast enough. <laughs> I I I bet that you done. Somebody I, might be on here spying, man. They might be on. They might be on here spying on me. Yeah. I bet that you. Uh, don't want to cancel glasses, man. I, man, they call you glasses. I ain't never seen you with no glasses. How you get that goddamn man? I can't see. I got contacts on right now. Uh, okay. All right. If that's what you say, I, I got to take your word for it. Every, I, I've been, I, dude. No, it's the truth. It was a okay. joke, man. 